So maybe not everybody's cup of tea, um, but of course this, a very recognisable animal, we're going to meet a spider, well actually a really big hairy tarantula. Now these guys are part of the arachnid family, so eight legs, just like um, another animal from the arachnid family, the scorpion. And both of these animals are venomous, but actually the tarantula is a little bit misunderstood. People seem to be terrified of tarantulas, think that they're going to chase them, maybe bite them, but actually that couldn't be further from the truth. Their fangs where they uh, deliver their venom from is actually tucked away underneath the front of their mouth. It's actually part of their mouth. So what do tarantulas use their fangs and their venom for? They just use it for eating their food. So a tarantula is definitely not thinking about using his fangs to bite you. All he uses it for is to help him to catch and kill his prey. So he's gonna be eating other invertebrates, lots of different types of insects for his dinner. And the reason he needs to use that venom to kill his food is that actually tarantulas are quite a delicate animal. So he needs to use that to be able to overpower his prey. Also, he doesn't have a big mouth for eating his food like us. He needs to be able to turn the bug's insides into soup so that it can slurp it up. These guys are super, super delicate. So they're an invertebrate. They don't have any bones in their body like us. Instead, they have a skin on the outside called their exoskeleton. Now, if this was a cockroach or a scorpion or a millipede or a centipede, they'd have quite a hard exoskeleton that's a bit like a suit of armor. But tarantulas, they're pretty unlucky. Spiders don't have any bones in their body, but they don't have a thick exoskeleton either. It's actually quite a thin exoskeleton, a bit like our skin. So if Charlotte fell on the floor, even from this height, she could actually explode like a water balloon and die. So the last thing that she wants to do is to get into a fight with another animal. So if you've ever seen a spider running across your front room floor, it's because it's come out from underneath the settee, it's looked up and it's seen a giant, that's you, okay? And it's just running away from you as fast as possible. It's not trying to scare you. Spiders like this have actually got a really cool way of protecting themselves from danger. If it's a tarantula that comes from South America, usually they have hairs on their abdomen and that they can flick off with their back legs and that make your skin itch. Now, it's not gonna make you go blind or make you itch forever, but just enough time for the tarantula to escape from something that might be trying to hurt it. There's one really cool thing that I love about spiders, and that is that they can actually regrow parts of their body. And they do this because they shed their exoskeleton. So every now and again, to help her to grow or to help her to grow new body parts, she will regrow almost a brand new spider underneath. And everything that you can see here right now, all of her shiny fangs underneath, her hairs, her colors, every single part she would actually get rid of. And once she's grown that new body underneath, she flips the top of her head up like a dustbin lid. She pushes herself out of her old body and anything that she'd lost, if she'd lost a leg in the wild, if she'd flicked off some of them poisonous hairs and she had a ball patch, she would have grown everything brand new underneath. Just like every other spider, she can spin a web. Okay, so we're gonna turn around, we're gonna have a little look, okay? And just on her back here, she's got two little things called spinnerets. Um, and I think we can see a little bit of web coming out of that today. Okay, so she rubs them together, out comes the web. And some spider's web is so strong that for the same size, if steel was the same size, actually the spider's web would actually be stronger. So spiders are pretty amazing. Oh, look, oh, we've got it, we've got it, we've got it, got it, got it, got it, look. Look at that web, whoa. So there's a bit of web even Spider-Man would be proud of. Check that out. <laughs>